Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about workflows in Databricks development. Workflows is nothing but creation of jobs and scheduling them at regular intervals. In any data platform, development of pipeline is the core component, core process. But once we have completed the creation of pipelines, then we need to find a way to schedule them. For that, we need to create jobs. In Databricks, this concept is called workflow. Within workflow, we can create jobs. Jobs is nothing but collection of tasks. Task is nothing but running one specific business process. So task might execute one particular Databricks notebook or Python file or Python wheel. You know, there are few other options. So it can uh, trigger one of the co code. It can be from notebook or Python file or there are some other options as I told. I will show in the demo. So we can create multiple tasks and also we can uh, set up the dependency between those tasks. So it is similar to any scheduling tool. Now uh, the popular scheduling tools are uh, Airflow, Azure Data Factory. In those tools we can create uh, a task and we can set up the dependency. In the same way within this workflow also we can create multiple tasks and we can set up the dependency so that the one of the task can run based on the status of the previous task. And also we can orchestrate serial and parallel task. In order to understand this process, let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and my cluster is also up and running. I have created one notebook. This is performing some logic like it is pulling data from one of the Azure SQL database and it is uh, writing the output into Azure Data Lake Storage. This is one of the simple requirement. Just for this demo, I have created this simple solution. So in the first cell, I am defining the JDBC connection. And in the next cell, I am reading data from Azure uh, SQL based on the JDBC connection which I defined in the first cell. Then after that, in the third step, I am uh, creating the mount point so that uh, Databricks can write the content into Azure Data Lake Storage. As I have already created the mount point in the earlier uh, execution, I'm, I have uh, commented that out. And in the next step, I am writing the output data frame output into Azure Data Lake Storage. So this is one of the simple pipeline I have created. But uh, the main concept in this uh, video is understanding data workflows. So in order to create workflow, we have to go to workflows blade. Let me click on that. Coming to workflows page, we can see few options. One is job. This is the place where we can create our job. The next one is job runs. In case we have executed any jobs earlier, those things uh, can be seen here. And the next option is mainly for Delta live table. That is a separate concept. I will create separate um, uh, video series for Delta live tables later. Now, in this video, I'm going to focus more on jobs. So we are going to use this page. Coming to this, in order to create a new job, first we have to click on this create job. Then it is opening one form that is for one particular task. So in this particular job, I am going to create first task. So this is the form to create that first task. So here I have to give some name. Let's say I am going to give first task. I am uh, just giving the name for the task. We can give anything. Then in the next second option, I'm going to choose the type that is notebook. But apart from notebook, as I told earlier, you know, there are few other options as well. Python script, Python wheel, SQL, Delta live tables, TPT, jar file, Spark summit. You know, there are various other options, but I'm going with notebook. And coming to source, you know, this notebook is coming from where? So in this uh, demo, I'm going to use the notebook that is coming from this workspace. But in case we are uh, having some uh, notebooks already in the version control, maybe we can choose that uh, version control also. Right. The next uh, option path. Where is your notebook located? So I'm going to choose the notebook. This is the workflow name. This is the notebook name that uh, I have created for this demo. This will uh, pull the data from Azure SQL and write the output into Azure Data Lake Storage. Let me select this. Now I have chosen. The next we have to choose the cluster. 
coming to cluster there are two different types of clusters one is a job cluster another one is all, uh, all purpose cluster i have given clear uh, detailed information in one of my previous video in case you haven't watched i highly recommend to watch that video uh, coming to job cluster which means the uh, the cluster will be created dynamically at the time of uh, execution once uh, the task execution is completed then it will be terminated coming to all purpose cluster uh, the per, uh, the cluster which we have created manually for our development purpose the same cluster we can use as well so in case you have decided to go with job cluster job cluster is recommended for uh, scheduling and you have decided to go with job cluster then you can click on this one here it is opening one of the template there we have to uh, set up the template now what is the configuration power uh, computing power you need those information we can set uh, worker type uh, you know it's auto scaling you want to enable uh, uh, there are uh, a few other options you now we have to fill the form then uh, uh, the cluster will be created uh, dynamically based on this template whatever the configuration we are giving here based on that it will be created the second option is in case we have already created uh, all purpose cluster that also we can use uh, for this demo purpose uh, my cluster is already running so better i will uh, go with that one so i am choosing that one once that is done, uh, in case our notebook is um, uh, expecting input parameters, then that can be given using parameters. But in my notebook, in my simple notebook, there is no input widgets. So that's the reason I am not going to give. But in case your notebook is uh, having input widgets, then that can be given uh, using these parameters. We have to click on this add, then we have to give the name of the uh, input and also the corresponding value. Currently in my notebook, I don't have anything, so I am deleting. The next step, you know, we can see some advanced options. Let me click on that. Here we can see add dependent libraries, which means in case our notebook is expecting some um, uh, dependent libraries that should be um, uh, installed in the job cluster, then we can add that as well. One example is, for example, uh, we are developing some um, uh, solution related to Kafka. Then, you know, there are many libraries related to Kafka then uh, we need to install those libraries then in that case we can click on uh, add dependent dependent library then we can go to the library source for example maven then probably you know we can uh, choose uh, you know we can click on the search uh, packages probably i can uh, search something related to kafka here we can see you know these are the different libraries so in, uh, in the same way uh, if your notebook is uh, needing any of the libraries, then we can go with that library. In this case, I don't need any library. That's the reason I'm not uh, installing. I'm not adding any library. After library, the next action, um, option is edit notification. In case you want to receive some notification for this uh, execution, then we can add that as well. For that, now I have clicked on that um, uh, notification. Then it is opening this one. Then here I can add. Okay. For... Uh, we have to mention the name of the person and also for which status we want to get the email it's uh, once you know the task is started then we have to we have to receive the alert the mail or the success or failure and we have we can choose anything so in this case i don't want to receive any uh, alert so i am not uh, choosing that as well uh, right similarly we are having few other options like you know edit retry policy you know how many times uh, the program can uh, try to uh, run the failed task again and again those uh, parameters can be decide, uh, can be set using that one now uh, i have given all the parameters for this particular task let me click on create so i have created one task for my job that task name is a first task so one particular job might contain one or more uh, more than one uh, number of tasks so in this example it's a very simple you know one one, one simple task but in real time we can uh, create a very big orchestration framework as well you know by uh, chaining multiple tasks for example i have to add one more task on top of this one then i can click on this plus symbol when i click on this plus symbol it will open the same uh, similar kind of uh, form to define the next task uh, but you know why do we need these uh, this uh, second uh, task let us imagine in your architecture, you know, one of the notebook that is uh, pulling the data from Azure SQL and uh, populating, uh, 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 writing the data into Azure Data Lake Storage. 
then uh, next notebook that is uh, reading the data from azure data lake storage and it is uh, doing some uh, transformation basic transformations then it is moving the data into silver layer and another notebook it will read the data from silver layer and again it is doing all the business aggregations finally moving the data to uh, uh, gold layer the architecture could be like that so we might have uh, multiple you know separate uh, notebooks so we have to execute all the steps one by one the first notebook it will pull the data from azure sql then writing into a bronze layer then the second uh, notebook it will read from bronze layer and uh, writing the data to silver and the third not notebook it is uh, reading the data from uh, silver layer and writing into gold layer it could be like that but in this uh, demo i have created only one simple uh, notebook but still i would like to show how to create multiple tasks and uh, creating the dependency between them so in this example let me give second task so here it's the same options so i'm going to choose my notebook in this case i will choose the same notebook just for demo but in real time you might have different notebook with different logic right and um, i am going with uh, all purpose cluster and i am not uh, choosing any other parameters one um, interesting interesting thing that uh, you can notice here is depends on it was not there when we created the first task because whenever we are creating the second uh, task or uh, you know the second task onwards we can see this option depends on so here either you know we can remove or you know we can add a dependency here i am telling now this particular second task it is depending on the first task which means the first task should be succeeded then only the second task will be executed in case the first task is failed then the control will not come to this second task so i'm uh, currently i have only one task so that is the one only one dependency i can put here i have done right i have created now once we have created the second task you can notice you know this is uh, giving in the visual form we can see this is a first task and there is a dependency this is a dependency line and once the first task is completed then the control will go to the second task and i can create even third task let me create the third one i am choosing the same notebook and i am choosing i am choosing all purpose cluster now here we can see you now this is depending on second task not only second task we are having one more first task as well even we can choose anything maybe here i am going to tell you know my third task that is depending on the first two tasks so first two tasks should be completed successfully then only the control can come to the third one so i am setting up the dependency so let me uh, give okay now here you can see you now this is first task and the second task is depending only on this first one and this uh, third task that is depending on the second task and also this line you can see it's uh, from first task so in this way you know we can create orchestration framework you know we can now uh, create uh, procedural logic to uh, orchestrate particular notebooks particular uh, workflow i hope you understood so in this example i'm uh, calling the same notebook again and again which will read the data from azure sql and write the data into Uh, data lake storage so this is my data lake storage within that i have created a container demo within that currently i am having only two folders now when i am going to execute this particular uh, workflow what happens is you no know, the same notebook will be called three times so each and every time uh, my notebook will create new folder and the data will be written into that so we will be able to see three more folders Uh, hope you understood this is how you know we can uh, create workflow now one part is done okay we have created the job job creation is done the next step is we have to create a schedule without creating a schedule we can run this uh, entire workflow one time by clicking on this run now but um, if we want to schedule at a particular interval then we have to click on this add schedule here we have to choose scheduled then it is giving option to schedule at particular interval for example i have to run this uh, workflow every friday at uh, 1 pm then what i can do is i can choose week every week friday maybe 13 hour and what is the time zone 
okay i'm going with the default utc time zone so this is how we can uh, schedule the workflow and uh, you even we can use uh, crone syntax so for that we can uh, 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 we, there is a website crone tab guru we even we can uh, take help from that in case you are not aware of uh, crone syntax so this is how we can create the schedule so let me click on the schedule let me save now we have created workflow and also we have created schedule now we can see all the information related to this job on the left side on the right side right now just for uh, uh, demo i want to run this workflow once manually so for that i am going to click on this run now so it is uh, triggered i want to monitor for that i can click on view run then what happens currently this particular work th uh, this particular task is running so i can see it is running that's why it is uh, blinking in green color now you can clearly see you know the first uh, run that is successful i can see tick mark now the control will go to the second task here we can notice now the second uh, task that is running even that is completed now the control would go to the third one it's running here we can see the status it's very simple uh, uh, workflow so it has completed now we have executed the same notebook three times now let me go to uh, data lake storage and let me refresh i should be able to see three diff three new folders here we can see so this is how uh, we can create uh, 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 jobs and uh, we can create a schedule on top of that i hope you understood the concept hope you enjoyed and like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel also please subscribe and don't for forget to click on the bell button thank you